Hello and welcome back to Break Tech. In this video we're going to continue our skeleton boilerplate project. Uh, we're going to download skeleton, we're going to set up our project, and then we're going to have a look at what we might want to build. So I'll go ahead and click the download link. As you can see I've already done it, um, so I'm going to go ahead and open that folder. Just to show you what's in there, uh, we'll go ahead and just extract that zip file. So extract all and then just browse to whatever folder you're going to use for your project. I've already done this just so you don't have to watch my files extract. So I'm going to skip ahead to the next step where I open up Atom in that folder where I've extracted the files. Alright, so now we're looking at Atom. This, these are the files that uh, Skeleton has included. So we have two CSS files. We have normalized CSS and then we have Skeleton. And then we have an index.html and they include the skeleton favicon. As you can see in here, all we have is a very basic page layout. Uh, there's nothing in it other than a single one, one container, one row, and then uh, one half column. And it has a margin top of 25%, but other than that, there's nothing else in this file. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and quickly open up. Uh, I'm hitting Control Shift 3. I'm using the live reload uh, included in Atom to give you a look at the page. Uh, but this is the basic page. So what should we build? Um, when I'm building projects for practice, I like to go ahead and, and try and duplicate um, things that other people have done that are production level sites um, that are used for real business applications. So um, while it's cool to like kind of flex your muscles and, and develop like you know, neat interactions and, and um, you know, UI elements. Um, I like to stick really when I'm practicing with things that people might actually use. So one place that I like to go, um, I like to use uh, landing pages because there's a ton of templates out there and they're always in need, right? You, you create hundreds of landing pages, pages in your career if you end up being a, a web developer. Um, so what I like to do is uh, I go to lead pages or unbounce uh, and just browse through their templates. Now, I would never do this for a commercial project. This is for practice and for learning. So um, we'll just go ahead and look through these and just see one that we think we like. And that's what we'll do. So as I'm browsing through these, you can see that there's some very simple ones. Some of them are just pop-out boxes, which is not what we want. Uh, a modal really isn't going to help us here. Uh, but something like this landing page. So this template looks like it's got a lot of the elements that we we're looking for. Um, it's a seemingly simple site, but it's got a fairly complex grid system. It's got a lot of elements that are that are pretty cool. Um, we can see that from the top we have a hero image. It's probably a background image, so we can just sort of start to picture how we would put this site together. Uh, we would start probably with a container. That container would contain uh, what looks like a column uh, that is a width of six. And then below that we have another row, this row containing, uh, what is it, four, four width, uh, three four width columns. Below that we have another row and then it has two six width columns. Below that we have another row. This row contains a, a bunch of images. There's a couple of different ways we could do with that images. Um, so there's five of the images and it, it's not something that would split into 12 really evenly. Uh, so we could cut it down to four, which would make them three, um, you know, three length divs, uh, three length columns. Or we could say float all of these to the left and then, um, and then clear our floats, which would allow us to use another one of the helper classes. So maybe we'll do that. Below that we have another row, and this row contains a centered element, which is probably. Um, well, it's hard to say. I mean, they could have done it a couple of different ways. You can do this as a full width. Uh, 12 column grid uh, or you can do this as like a four column grid that's offset um, or has uh, an empty column on either side or you can simply center it within that full width column I think that's the way I'd probably do it um, and then you have just a simple footer at the bottom uh, so in the next video we'll go ahead and get started on working on something like this um, I'll try and pre-pick some images and include the links to those Whenever I use images for our projects, I always use images from Pexels. I'm not going to like grab images from a commercial site. I'm going to use uh, free open source images. Um, so I will provide links to any of those pictures that I use. 
Thanks for watching. This has been Doug with Break Tech, and in the next video, we'll get started on actually writing some code.